Oh, cool. Look at that. Just got my Tesla Model 3 blue version uh, rear wheel drive uh, with the 19 inch wheel. Mate metallic blue. Yes, black leather inside. So um, I got that yesterday. Went to work, didn't do much about it. And this is beautiful car and then today the first thing I do is to install this red uh, what you call this protection rim yeah just in case for any scratches on parallel parkings uh, this is Richmond BC and got it from this the Sino company this is what they do they're professional on doing this kind of installation on any car for Tesla, there is a special uh, installment on it, so I will post the address on the bottom. I have researched a lot before I buy this car. It's my the best car I can ever own. Uh, of course, I have to work like three jobs to get this. Anyways, so you can see a lot of good things about this on YouTube. As for me, I think I don't need to repeat what people say, but what I'm going to do is I will find out maybe a week or two weeks later after driving it for a while I will show you or tell you all the David stuff I can find hopefully there is none but it's hard to say so far the only thing that I want to know before I buy this car but I couldn't find it in any other videos is that what comes with the car people don't really say that so I'm gonna show you um, what comes with the car so you know what's inside let's see My phone is the key, so the key is too far away. I can't open the door. Let's open the door. I think I need to go closer. Oh, there you go. Now I'm in. So you have to be pretty much really close to the car, like in your pocket. Because my phone is there, taking a video right now, so I can't open the door if I'm not close, which is good. So this is one of the attachments so you have I think two or three attachments depending on how you think of it this is one of the attachment that comes with it in the package this is the basic oh my car just locked because I'm away from the car now so this is one of the attachment that comes with it the uh, adapter this adapter is the level 2 charger from outside once you put it in and you can charge it with the and this side is actually the Tesla charging input so this is very useful I would suggest you leave this in the glove box because on the public charging besides superchargers or any Tesla designated chargers you will need this um, now that I'm gonna show you the other two equipment Come in the box like this. This thing is actually inside. So there you go. They said this is a uh, I think it's 20 feet wire. Pretty long. With it's actually thin compared to the wire that I have level two that I install in, at home. That's a charge point cable. This is very thin cable. It's great because this is the 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 adapter. All right. So you have two inputs you have two connectors so one connector is the one that you connect at home 120 volts uh, which you can connect to any wall outlet at home that you can find it's gonna take forever to uh, charge the, the, the car from 0 to 100% this is the other adapter that's gonna be plugged into like a, a dryer outlet which is 240 volt of course is as what they call it level 2 charging so this is really useful um, of course this is the input there you go so this comes all these things like this thing this thing this thing this thing they all come with the car for free I can't find it for many other video because I'm always concerned do I get the wire or what I can do with it right because you, you can always use this wire without installing a level 2 um, outlet at home. That's going to save you a lot of money. 
if you have a level 2 240 volt um, wall outlet so you don't need the charger at home all right let's put this back beside these three accessories there are two more things which are the uh, micro USB uh, wire and a lightning port wire those you can buy online they come with it that's great because you can install in the dashboard without the video you will see it but and yeah that's all it comes with it and I'm gonna have fun with the car if I find anything negative about the car I'll let you guys know because that's what I'm looking for for all the good one I believe you can see a lot on YouTube from any other videos all right thank you have a good day I'm gonna enjoy my car See you in the next video. Bye.